Good morning, folks. Pastor Jim Thomas from the Village Chapel here in Nashville, Tennessee, with your daily devotional. This morning, uh, going to draw from our voices from the past, Puritan devotional readings, and a fellow I introduced a couple weeks ago, or a couple, maybe a week ago, Thomas Lee, who lived in the 17th century English Puritan. He's going to be talking about uh, a verse, Ephesians 3.20, to him who is able to do far more abundantly than all that we ask or think. It reminds me of uh, that quote from Richard Foster uh, from his book, Prayer. Jesus keeps drawing us into that basic relationship of child and parent to asking and receiving from uh, the Father. So great, great verse from Ephesians uh, chapter 3. And here is what Thomas Lee, as uh, he had pondered it, and those Puritans were really good at pondering, let me tell you. He did a great job here. He says, God's almighty arm is stable ground upon which saints may securely build their trust. His omnipotent hand spans the heavens, Isaiah 40, 12. He is strong and mighty, Psalm 24, 8. And he created the world with a word, Psalm 33, 9. He is El Shaddai, Almighty God, Genesis 17, 1. His vast power far exceeds our needs, prayers, thoughts, and all that we could ever need, beg, or imagine. Mm. <clears throat> we can ask great things and can imagine even greater God's power far exceeds all. If we open our mouth ever so wide, he can more than fill it. Psalm 86, 10. And even as I hear the birds chirping in my chimney, maybe you can hear them too, I don't know. But I think of that, a mother bird feeding their baby birds as they open their mouth wide. And the Lord is so good to us, isn't he? Thomas Lee continues, Creature props are not able to bear the weight of an immortal soul. They are apt to crumble under us. But an almighty God is a rock. He that builds upon him will stand. Though the winds blow and the storms beat upon him. And uh, that's an image, of course, drawn from Matthew chapter 7. I think verse 25 as the Lord talked about the person that built their house upon the sand versus the one who builds their house upon the rock. On this, Abraham built his transcendent faith and David built his impregnable trust. Another ground upon which to trust in God is upon his infinite free goodness, mercy, and bounty. His heart is as tender as his arm is strong. And some of you know, I've been quoting from that recent Dane Ortland book called Gentle and Lowly, which talks about the heart of Christ and the disposition of his heart toward us when we come to him or even when we're not coming to him, that he's gentle and lowly. And uh, another uh, person here from the 17th century thinking and talking about the exact same thing. His heart is as tender as his arm is strong. He is no less willing than able to relieve As a father shows compassion to his children, so the Lord shows compassion to those who fear him. Quoting from Psalm 103, verse 13 there. It's a great verse. Thomas Lee goes on, A father who sees his child in need and does not help forfeits the name father. He's not a man, but a beast. The Lord is all compassion to his people. Yes, and infinitely more than this, God alone is the best. Goodness is his darling attribute and his glory. I love that, his darling attribute. Darling is not an adjectival modifier that we use often, is it? But uh, here he says, this is what really describes the heart of God to us. Yeah, his darling attribute. Hmm. Um, Moses asked for God's glory and was shown his goodness in Exodus 33. Though we have nothing to plead or to prevail with God from within ourselves, there is an intercessor in God's own bosom, his own goodness. This will certainly and effectually intercede 
for our relief. Great, encouraging words for us to come to God. His welcome is wide. Uh, his door of the, his throne room of grace is thrown open because of the finished work of Christ on the cross. And he bids you come, he bids me come this day as well. I hope this uh, is encouraging to you as we get the day started. And I uh, want to encourage you to encourage others as well to join us for these daily devotions. Uh, there is a YouTube channel for the Village Chapel now and all, I think there's like 80 of these daily devotions up there. So feel free to subscribe to that and you'll get those automatically sent to you as well. I hope you'll pass those along to others you think might be encouraged by them. Let me, let me pray now for us on this particular day. Lord, we thank you for... Uh, your mercy and that it is wide and that your welcome is wide as well. Pray, Lord, that we would enter into your mercy. That we would enter into your throne room of grace, uh, not only in our time of need, uh, but even in our times when things are going swimmingly well, that we might just commune with you. And that would be a habit of heart for each and every one of us. I pray that this day, Lord, we'd watch for your hand leading and guiding us. And Lord, that uh, you'd show us places where we might be able to be of encouragement to others in their walk with you as well. Pray this in Jesus' name, for his sake. Amen and amen.